today i am going to discuss class 10 chapter 2 polynomial today's topic is relationship between the zeros and coefficient of a polynomial we already know that polynomial of degree n has exactly n zeros so today i am going to discuss quadratic polynomial with you we are going to find zeros of this quadratic polynomial by method of splitting middle term first we need to multiply a and c if we multiply 6 into 2 we get 12 first we need to find factors of 12 these are the factors of 12 so in these we need to find ki which two factors are there when we add or subtract them we get only one so here we see that factors are minus 4 and plus 3 we multiply it we get minus 12 and when we add or subtract it we get minus 1 so by putting the value of minus x here or by splitting the term we get 6x square minus 4x plus 3 minus 2 so 2x is common plus 1 3x minus 2 here we get 3x minus 2 is common so we get 2x plus 1 3x minus 2 we know that these are the factors of this polynomial by putting them we get polynomial equal to 0 so 3x minus 2 and 2x plus 1 equal to 0 3x minus 2 equal to 0 2x plus 1 equal to 0 3x is equal to 2 and we get x value of x is 2 upon 3 and value of x is Minus one upon two. Hence, zeros of this polynomial are alpha and beta. Value of alpha is two upon three, and value of beta is minus two up, minus one upon two. So, relationship between zeros and coefficient of this polynomial. Sum of zeros are alpha plus beta. We get one upon six, and sum of zeros are coefficient of x and coefficient of x square so by putting the value of co coefficient of x is minus 1 upon 6 we get 1 upon 6 so if we need to find product of zeros it is equal to 2 upon 3 multiplied by minus 1 upon 2 we get minus 2 upon 6 and it is also equal to constant term this is a constant term students just see it. this is a constant term so constant term upon coefficient of x square constant term it is equal to minus 2 and 6 so by using this method we can solve many of the questions and we can easily find relationship between zeros and coefficient of